To demonstrate this problem, I'm going to add two components to my schematic diagram. One of them's here. It's a HDR RDC 2x12 pin connector and another one a 2x10p RDC connector. Now from these two I'm going to first of all save it, then go to design, ok it saves it, convert to a schematic, right we've converted the schematic to a PCB, put these on the circuit board, ok now We'll select P1, move it a little bit because I'm going to display the pre display name. It says no, so I'm going to say yes to that. So there's the display name. 2 by 12 pin. And it's the same with them. And that's a 2 by 10 pin. Now with that one highlighted, we'll go down here. And it's telling us it's got a 3D model IDC through hole, etc. etc. Right, and the cont contributor is. Oh, wait a minute, we'll get that out of the way. Contributor is LCSC. And there's a link and an image. It's all nice. Now if we select this one, we'll see that there's also a 3D model, HDR, IDC, doesn't say whether it's through hole or anything in that little clip there, we'll move it out a bit. No, it's just saying it's a header IDC 2.54 2x24 pin, 2x24. Wait a minute, 2 by 12 pin here, 2 by 24 pin here, well there's a mistake. And again we've got uh, spurious Chinese characters going on here. Actually this is a uh, contributor name, which Copy. Now I can go to my browser, uh, translate Chinese, enter text, paste. There we are. The Chinese characters are saying Lightron ED official package library. Oh well, but why isn't this, why hasn't it uh, put it in English, which is my preferred language? So somehow it hasn't got translated to English. Anyway, the main thing is that it's got a 3D model, even though it's not saying it's correct. 2 by 24 pin. Why is it put that in? Twenty-four pin. Twenty pin. Two by twenty. Look, I'm gonna change that to twelve. See what it gets. Let's select the two by twelve. And it looks so it's correct. It's actually placed it correctly as well. Well, that's good. So there's a mistake here. 2 by 24 should be 2 by 12. Anyway, we'll up update that. All right. Save that. 
and we'll do a, a 3D model of it. And it's given us a 2 by 12, but the 2 by 10 is missing. Just a minute, we'll go back again. 2 by 10. Twenty pin. Oh, there are twenty pins in a two by ten. I know that much. But it's not putting anything here. Well, well it's in two by twelve here. That's not right. Um. I'm going to replace this with header dash IDC dash 2.54 dash 2 by 10. See if it finds that. Yes, it has. Select it. Right. We'll choose the Z dimension to minus four, usually minus four, right. It's gone through. Yeah. Update. Save. Now, can we see? 3D. Wonderful. So we've got a 3D model. We've, we've had to change this to the correct model. It was wrong. And that one is 2 by 24. 2 by 24 is 48, and it's saying 2 by 12. Oh, God. Now then, you've all seen me make the schematic, put the two connectors on, change a few things, make the printed circuit board with the two parts on, and get them to display 3D models. Perfect, absolutely perfect now. Brilliant. My heart leaps with joy. So what I'm going to do now is simply quit the program. Uh, over here, quit, right. And start up again. Go to the and convert to schematic. Apply. And then I'll save that three D model. And look, it has not retained the 2x10 header connector. Whereas on the original,
we do a 3D on that one, we get both of them. So quitting the program and starting it up and trying to do another 3D PCB, you lose one of the parts. It appears uh, uh, correcting this part does not correct it in the library. How is it possible to make a correction within the library so that subsequent editions of that part will get you a 3D model every time? That's what we need to know about.